Hello, what's up, you? Dobson Wilson's right here, and welcome to another Pokemon pack opening. Oh my god, people, I am now begging now. We need some hits now. We need big hits. And today's episode is the beginning of the Tim Battles. Yes, the Tim Battles are back again. As you guys know, when it comes to Tim Battles and Pack Battles, what are the rules? Remember, people, these are my rules. They're not anybody else's, they're my rules only. So, if you guys want to do your own rules, Make them yourself. That's how I do it. So, rules up. The promo card is worth one point. No matter what it is, whether it's a full art, XC card, whatever you want to call it, a rainbow, anything like that, it still classes one point because it's a guaranteed pull. But anything else is extra. So, holographics are worth one point. Reverse foils don't worth any point because they are not what you want to get. Uh, v cards, GXs, the standard ones, they're worth two points. Full arts are worth three. Rainbow rares are worth four. Gold cards are worth around about four. And then, of course, alternate artworks slash um, most expensive card in the set is worth five to six points. And of course, as I said, most expensive card in the set, you win the whole entire game because that's what you want to get. You may be thinking, what are the most expensive cards in the set? It is, of course, the gold cards, the Giratina, Palkia, Dialga, and I think there's a Darkrai and a Zorok. But there's also a full art Pikachu. When it first got released, it was worth over £100. Nowadays, it's not worth as much, but whatever. If we do pull that, pretty much, it's a god box. It's a god box. We've got five boost packs here today. Pray to the gods. Please tell me these tins have hits on them. Now, nobody hasn't talked about these tins at all, so I am literally in the dark with this box, people. Literally. A white card. <sighs> okay, let's pull that away. Let's see what we can get. Bishop, Duo, Ultra Ball, Emolga, Scyther, Starly, Riolu, Aeron, the Seal, and a Blossom again. Oh my god. Are these going to be just as hard pull rates as Shining Fates? was. The Shining Fates pull rates were flipping god awful and then they're still hard to do now. I'm still hunting for the Charizard and I still haven't had any luck with it. And don't you guys worry people, I will be making more videos for Shining Fates. I still have a lot of products to open up. Fine Energy, Bol Colossus, Meltang, Energy Switch, Hyreptile, Scallop, Grubbin, Purloin, Salandit, a Reverse for Rare, Zarud, and a double! Oh my god, a double holographic. That is not good. Not good at all. Oh no, please! Please! I'm begging now! This cannot happen. Don't tell me my luck is running out on the most important set of my life, people. Of my life. Because remember, people, this set is expensive. It really is camp. It is expensive now. And I need some good hits out of this set. I really do. Meow, that's right. Baltoy, Tangula, Lavesta, Snurron, a reverse foil rare Agron, and a Ranguru. What? I'm just getting reverse foil rares. Come on, Pokemon. Come on, Arceus. Don't be a set like flipping Evolving Skies was, because that Evolving Skies was just as terrible of pull, of pull luck as well. Now, I love that set a lot, and yet it still craps on me. Always to leave energy. Come on, Carvana, na na na. Giraffic Switch, Pancha, Shinx, Wulu, Hyreptile, uh, Skelet. Nice! Finally, we get ourselves a hit. We get ourselves a Paris cameo. Oh, there we go! We finally get a good card! Sadly, it's not the most expensive, but it's still a big hit. Finally, we get points. So we get ourselves a special cameo card here. It's not the textured one, so this is worth two points. Which is nice. And then we get ourselves a V-Star, which is worth... Uh, da -da 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 -da. It is worth three points. That's nice. So, three... Five, six, seven points at the minute. So, looking promising now. Looking very promising now. Come on. Give me another good hit now. That was a uh, finally that did save me a little bit. 
One, two, three, four, let's have a look. Lightning Energy, Fishhawk, Duros, Ultra Ball, Seal, Ponyard, Crawfish, Shinx, Wilma, a Reverse Royal Salamit, and a Pango Rare. What is going on with these rares, man? These rares are going to be the bane of me, people. Either way, though, Articuno got seven points, people, so that is really good. Two Reverse Royals, two Reverse Royal Rares, which are nice. And then for Hollow Rares, there we go. Lovely pulls. So that's seven points right there, people, which I'm happy with. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers. If you guys get me to 30, 30 subscribers this year, I am going to be shaving every inch of my body completely bald, and I'll be donating all the hair to charity. So if you guys want that to happen, please freaking subscribe. With that being said, the people are still going to see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Okay, seven points. Next up, Moltres. What are we going to get this time? I like getting these, these are nice. I do have a couple of the volumes up, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!